morning everyone it is Wednesday today so Monday I stayed at home and I had a full day at home working yesterday I was out all day at meetings and today I'm going to Paris I feel so so lucky me and Anna are going to Paris with Chanel I think it's going to be the most amazing trip we're just going for like this afternoon and tomorrow and then we're coming home tomorrow night we're gonna go and have our makeup done and we're gonna go visit Coco Chanel's apartment we're gonna have dinner at the hotel and then tomorrow we're having lunch at one of my favorite restaurants in Paris Cafe Marley I hope you guys don't think I'm showing off but a lot of you tweeted saying that you wanted me to vlog my trip to Paris so I am doing that for you guys and also I want to keep it as a memory, it'd be nice to watch back. I've just finished packing, it's still quite early in the morning, but I'm gonna head to St Pancras Station and meet up with Anna. Okay, we're in the hotel, we're in Hotel Cost, it's absolutely incredible, I just walked in and I've got like a mini like waiting room in my own room and then you go through here look how beautiful amazing and bathroom and bathrobe oh I haven't been in here yet wow it's huge it's like a bath this is so nice I'm so excited we basically spent the whole journey on the Eurostar talking about Coco Chanel and all her incredible stories because I think there's basically a new lipstick range coming out soon and each lipstick is like named after all her friends and like people that she loved um, I'm sure I will learn more about it and I'll tell you guys, but it was a really nice journey chatting and I feel so lucky to be here, it's really amazing. So I think we're just going to dump our stuff, get kind of spruced up and then we're going to head out for a little wander around and then we're going to get our makeup done and then we're going to go to Coco Chanel's apartment, which is meant to be amazing. It's like, it's not open to the public, you have to be invited, but everything's like kept the same as when she was there, so I'm really excited for that. Anna's just popped into my room. Anna always comes to my room. I feel like that really sums up our relationship. Yeah. She's always ready first, but I quite like it. So <laughs> Anna's here. Not always. Sometimes you can be pretty on it, pretty snappy. Yeah. She's unpacked. What's I, going on? So I'm trying really hard to be like a better person, be more like Anna. So like I got to my hotel room, I was like, I'm gonna unpack. Because whenever I go to home, her pajamas are like laid out by her bed. Check this out. Check this out. Pajamas. I'm so proud. I haven't done that. Woohoo! I win. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go get some food because it's now like quarter to two. We need to be ready by half three to head out, and we haven't really eaten. So we've both got salad and chips in our mind, and I think we're just gonna go downstairs because the restaurant in this hotel is amazing. Um, so yeah, let's go get some food. And I'm wearing, by the way, the lipsticks I was just talking about. They left us some in our room and I'm wearing Adrian, which is a really nice nude. done in the little Chanel pop-up boutique it was so nice I actually learned loads of really good tips and I've got lovely pretty red nails now so we're gonna head over to Coco Chanel's apartment which is gonna be really exciting I think I'm gonna be taking lots of photos so we can to see that Coco Chanel's apartment, this is insane. Like this is her actual dining room table. This is just a bit mental, isn't it a bit mental? We sat at her dining room table. <laughs> this is the chair, we just sat in this chair. And this is the actual chair from this photo. <laughs> Anna just recreated the pose. I don't know why I'm whispering, just because it's so quiet. <laughs> I'm gonna be the same. I'll give you the grand tour now.
the hell that was the most insane thing I've ever done. I feel like I couldn't, like when I got there I just wanted to like listen and explore so I don't know how much of it I actually filmed but we basically went to Coco Chanel's apartment and it's in the Chanel house so above the apartment is Karl Lagerfeld's office like he was up there at the time and then above him are a hundred people that work for Chanel and we walked up the staircase with the mirrors I've seen in hundreds of photos of Coco Chanel and books and films and then we went had a little tour of the apartment and it was quite different to how I expected very eclectic and like still luxurious but I think I was just expecting something completely monochrome but it was really interesting and hearing the stories of how all the little details everything that she designed had a meaning if there was a star on it, it had a meaning if it had a lion if it you know it, all to do with her lovers and I just can't I really I feel like I can't relay the stories that we were told they were just so amazing I was just in awe like listening to these stories and having a look around There's so much history there it was amazing and now we're back at the hotel I'm just gonna like take it all in I want to sit and like have a think about it and look through my photos and then we're gonna have some dinner all together downstairs it was a really special day like something I feel like I'm gonna remember forever I really want a Chanel bag now like I feel like I can justify it because after hearing the stories of like the detail wow it's just I'm completely blown away feeling happy right now Okay, we're going out for dinner. I am wearing the Coco shade, which I can't really see from my bedroom what shade it is, but I think it's kind of like an orangey red. The lipsticks are really, really moisturising. I like them. So far, my favourite is still Adrian. Cheers! I'm back in my room after a delicious dinner, and I'm just going to fall asleep because I'm very tired, but I've had such an amazing day, and tomorrow we'll continue the fun in Paris. See you then! Morning, guys! So, dinner last night was really yummy. We just ate downstairs in the restaurant. I had tom yum sea bass which is quite different for me i'm pretty sure i swallowed a fish bone i'm so paranoid about swallowing bones i don't know why and i'm sure i swallowed a little one i just hate that feeling when you can like feel a little bone apparently you're meant to eat bread it's the best thing to do and it kind of soaks it all up and pushes it down kind of freaked me out but apart from that it was a really lovely meal i'm just kind of doing my makeup i'm gonna get some breakfast and um, this is the makeup i bought with me i thought i'd show you charlotte tilbury foundation Urban Decay Concealer, oh my god, new favourite, seriously I love that. A couple of MAC um, eyeshadows and a couple of By Terry shadows. The Burberry blush I'm a bit obsessed with, a couple of lipstick options. This mini Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, I have a couple of these, they're so cute for travel. Powder, bronzer, oh my god look at this, this is a mini Chanel Le Beige. Let's see if I can open it. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? I don't know if you can see how tiny it is, look at it compared to that. So cute! So I'm just going to do my makeup, and it's like half eight, so I might get a bit of breakfast, some fruit salad or something, we're going to meet downstairs at ten. We're going to go to Zara, because on the street where our hotel is, there's a Zara that's apparently like an edited Zara, like a, just a small collection of all their best stuff, which sounds amazing, so we're going to go and have a look there. Louise, look at this breakfast. I like filled this out last night, you know, when you fill out a thing and put it on your door. Um, I thought it'd be organised because I knew I wouldn't get up in time. Um, so I got an orange juice, that looks like a fresh orange juice, a little pan of chocolate and a fresh fruit salad. Oh my god, this looks so good. So I've been faffing all morning and watching YouTube videos, but I think it's time to go downstairs, check out and head to that Zara. Today I am wearing the Edith shade, which is like a nice light pink. <laughs> We did some serious damage in Zara. Whoops. <laughs> I bought a two piece that I'm not sure if I'll ever wear. It's like shorts and like a long sleeve top, but it looked really cool, so I thought, why not? While I'm here, holiday mode. Oh my god, I just realized
realise I haven't filmed since the Eurostar, but I'm home now, I'm already in my pyjamas, I came home and went straight onto my computer, and now I need to unpack. I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog again, I feel like I haven't really got the opportunity. Tomorrow I'm out in town at meetings all day, and then Saturday we're going back to Suffolk, which is where Rich is from, for his mum's birthday. And I would vlog that, but it's her birthday, it's a bit like personal, I'm not sure she's going to want me to put a camera in her face. And then Sunday I'm going to be doing absolutely nothing, so I think I might have to end the vlog here, even though I've, it's only been two days. Um, I swear my whole week isn't just about going to Paris, I've done loads of other things, but it just hasn't really been vloggable. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here, unless I edit this and it's like five minutes long and then I realise I need to vlog another day. But hopefully this will be a good little Paris vlog for you guys and I hope you've enjoyed it, I had such a nice time, it was literally the most amazing trip and I can't wait to try out all the lipsticks, I'm definitely going to do a blog post on them and kind of show you guys all my favourite shades so look out for that, it'll be coming sometime this week I reckon. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye!